Hello and uh, welcome. We just want to take a quick look at uh, signing up for Solid Trust Pay. Now, Solid Trust Pay is one of the payment gateways that we can use uh, with our affiliate program. So I'm going to log into this URL here. I'll put a copy of this URL on the website or wherever I post this video. But that's the URL that we're going to, which will take us into the front end to be able to sign up for our Solid Trust Pay account. Alright, so that's the URL. Uh, copy it down or copy and paste it from the site where you're viewing this video. Alright, let's get rid of that. Okay, so here we are. We've logged into Solid Trust Pay and we're now ready to start to create our new account. Now, this is building the account from start and we suggest that you go with a business account. Alright, it is free, um, so better to go with the business option straight up. Uh, it gives you more options. So here we are, we're going to click on the sign up now option for our business account here. Alright, now what we need to do is we need to complete this form. So what I'm going to do in a moment or two is I'm going to just um, shut down the recording um, so I can complete all of this without uh, having you spend the time watching me laboriously typing through here. So uh, just give us a moment and we will be back. Okay, so I have completed the form, I've gone through and note at the top here it says all fields are required. Now I've greyed out uh, pretty much everything that I've entered in here just for security reasons, but you need to go through and complete it fully. Alright, now I noted there is one thing I haven't done there, so I'm going to go and do that right now. And that's done. Alright, so I've completed every, every box on the form. Uh, and now I'm going to click at the bottom on the sign up option here. So let's just uh, pause that for a moment. Right, I've just made that a little bit larger so you can see what's on the screen here. So I've ticked, I want to receive email. I've ticked yes, I want to, it's all in order. So I'm going to now click on sign up. All right, so phone number was wrong. Let's try signing up again. Alright, so we now basically have completed the first part of the sign up. So I've gone in, I've entered all my personal details, I've entered my contact details, and it comes back with a, uh, a, a, a screen that follows here. So we're going to just pause it again. I'm going to go away and check my email because there'll be an email here to confirm that I've signed up. Okay, so I've logged into my email account, the uh, email account that I used when I created my Solid Trust Pay account, and I've got an email straight into my inbox from them here. Now I'm going to click on that email, and there's an option here for me to click on a an activation code here. So they're going to want us to just confirm uh, that we are who we say we are and that we've received that email. So it's just going to log onto the site. Alright, so there we are. We're sitting now in the uh, introduction to our Solid Trust Pay account. So I've created the account. I'm now at the login screen where I can log into my account on Solid Pay Trust. So just give me a moment. We're going to log in there. There are there's only other couple of other things here you can change. You can change the idle log off period. So if you're running it from home and you think you're going to be in and out of uh, Solid Trust Pay over a period of time, then you can extend that to a longer period of time. Right, so I've just uh, put in my username and password here. I've also changed uh, the uh, log off period and I'm now going to log into my Solid Trust Pay account. Alright, it's taking a wee while to get in there. Okay, so what I've done is I've obviously made some error as I've gone through and put in my username or password here and uh, Solid Trust Pay have picked that up. Now this is uh, really good because it's something I didn't intend to show but um, it's something we're nevertheless worthwhile having a look at. So what I've got is I've got an account login error and so what they've done is they've emailed me to my email account um, the uh, a, a 
a link to go and put in get to the right place. So what I did was I then followed through um, this particular uh, code here. It's taking me to another. Um, all right, because I've done it, let's just click back on that. Um, what happened was um, we are now able to log into our account. So they've given me a code, another connection, and I'm able to log into my account. So there it is. This is my brand new account. Um, it's cost me nothing to set up. Uh, it has my uh, account details in there, my company name, my name, and I'm now ready to start to do some verification. So we're going to uh, finish this uh, part of the video here, and we're going to come back and uh, go through some of that verification process for you.